Hi, this is Erin back again from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with a follow-up experiment. Last week, I tried to see if I could get carbon dioxide uh, to cover an apple and if that would keep it from browning. But the experiment didn't work very well, so I had to go back around uh, to the scientific method and, and reanalyze what happened. And I came up with some changes that I think will help. I'm going to put the vinegar into a container so that I can put the apple in there sooner and not mess up the carbon dioxide bubbles that get made so much. And we're also going to try two different controls, one that we'll cover and one that we won't cover. The candle part with the burnt candle to make uh, carbon dioxide and to use up the oxygen will stay First about the I'm going to light the candle, put it in with one apple, and seal it up with aluminum foil. I'm using aluminum foil instead of plastic because the plastic would melt with the candle in there. But I want to make it as airtight as possible, so I'm making sure to seal it nicely. That candle should burn out once the oxygen is used up. In here I have my vinegar and I'm going to add a heaping spoonful of baking soda. It will overflow, but that's okay. And I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil as well, just to help keep the gas in there. And we're being deliberate to try to move it less this time in hopes that more carbon dioxide will stay trapped in there. This one I'm not putting anything special with. I'm just going to cover it up. And the last apple will leave completely uncovered like it would be just sitting on a, a plate or something left out in your kitchen. And now we wait. Well, we're back. It's 24 hours later, and once again, I'm surprised by how little the apples have browned. There is a little bit of a difference, though, so let's take a look at the apples and compare them. One apple was left uncovered, and this is the brownest apple. The apple that was covered but didn't have anything to remove oxygen is less brown though, which is not what we predicted. So it might be that just having less oxygen circulating around was enough to make the difference. We can, com all we can also compare the uncovered apple to the baking soda and vinegar apple. And you can see there's it's slightly less brown. Or the apple that was in with the burnt candle. We can still analyze what we did and try to draw some conclusions from it. Based on the fact that the uncovered apple was so much browner than, well, was a bit browner than the covered apple, that tells me that it wasn't the carbon dioxide that got caught that made the difference. It would be easier to tell if one of the apples at least got a lot browner. And I don't know why it didn't get brown. They always get brown when I cut them up for lunch or for a fruit salad or something like that. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, if you have any ideas, please send them to us at scienceoffcenter.org. Meanwhile, I'm going to analyze some things that could be different about how well things are sealed or what brand of apples, and if I come up with anything new and exciting, I'll let you know.